Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add in the ability to mute and unmute your microphone inside of an audio call and application or a video call and application. The logic is actually exactly the same here. So we're just gonna go ahead and build this in with our Agora application. So if you're not part of this video series, uh, we're building out a simple voice chat application with audio rooms. So we're actually in the process of completing that. If you're not part of the series, it's okay. You can still follow along. Uh, this actual implementation is gonna be pretty simple and you'll be able to follow along from there. Uh, um, if you want to look at the source code here, this is all linked up in the video description for anybody following along in the series. We are at number three here at mute and unmute or mute toggle mic here. So we go into the guide.md. This is our written documentation here. And really all we're doing is gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and set a state for our microphone, which is mic muted and that's gonna be true. So when a user joins a room by default, we wanna make sure their microphone is off. And then we're just gonna go ahead and trigger that initial state within the init RTC method. So when we join a room, we wanna make sure that we mute that mic and the actual value to that is gonna be the value of mic muted, which is gonna be true, which means our mic is off. And then we're just gonna add in the ability to toggle it. If we're muted, we unmute. And if we're unmuted, then we mute. I was trying to figure out how to reverse that. Okay, so let's jump into our application and build this out. So first of all, let's go ahead and go to the top here and we'll just put this underneath our RTC clients. So let's just go ahead and create mic muted. So that's gonna be our initial state and the mic should be muted right away. So right after we initialize our client, we have our event listeners, we join the room. Uh, right before we publish our microphone, let's go ahead and mute it. So we wanna start off as muted. Uh, we don't wanna join the room if we have a dog barking or a baby crying in the background. We wanna make sure that the mic is off and nobody hears that for a second. So uh, let's go ahead and call the audio tracks and we'll just do dot local track. So local audio track, this is how we have it set up. We have our remote users and our local user. Once we set that local user right here, we wanna go ahead and call this very audio track that we just set and we will call set muted. And this is gonna be mic muted. So this is gonna be true initially. So just to make sure it's working, we'll actually be able to see this with our volume indicator. I'm gonna join a room and this is not being highlighted. And if I join with another user, technically I should hear this really loud, annoying echo and it's not happening. Looks like there's a delay there, but I can't hear anything. Everybody's muted, so it's working the way it should. So let's go ahead and jump out here and we'll continue on to the next section here. And that is gonna to be to add in the event listener to toggle the mic itself. So let's jump down here and let's go all the way below our volume indicator. So we'll just go ahead and build this in here. And we're gonna create the function here and we're gonna call it toggle mic. And we'll add an event listener that will actually trigger this function. So we'll make sure it's an async function and let's go ahead and build this out. So first of all, uh, we wanna check the mic muted status. So if mic muted, so if this is true, let's go ahead and get the current source of our button and we wanna change the color. So right now by default, it's set to red and we wanna change that color. So if we're currently muted, what we wanna do is go ahead and get e.target. So this is gonna be the button itself and that's gonna be source and we wanna change the actual image. So we actually have these icons here and we have a mic off icon and a mic icon. Mic icon is gonna be the same icon with a slash through it indicating that it's off. So we wanna change the actual image and we wanna change the background color. So we'll go ahead and just set this. So the source of that actual target, which is gonna be that image and that's gonna be icons forward slash mic dot SVG. So if it's off, we wanna show that it's on we'll just go ahead and get e.target and we'll just do dot style and let's just go ahead and set the background color. So we'll just do background. I couldn't remember if the B had to be capitalized there. So background color and this is gonna be Indian red here. So we'll set that and then what we wanna do is go ahead and change our mic muted status to true. So let's see, if mic muted is true, I think this actually should be false. Yeah, so if it's true, we wanna set this to false. So we wanna change the actual state and then that's gonna be it. So on else, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and invert it. So we're just gonna grab all this right here. We're gonna paste it and this is gonna be mic off. And this is gonna be set to, let's see. I actually got this backwards. So this should be Indian red and this should be ivory. So that's gonna be like that white shade here. So 
we want to go ahead and unmute the mic, make it ivory. And then after this, we're changing the state of our actual mic muted uh, stay here or the, the value of that. So we're just going to go ahead and set this to true. So if mic muted is false, that means our mic is on. What we want to do is go ahead and indicate that it's off now, turn it red, and then set the state to true. And then right after this condition, we're just going to do audio tracks dot local audio track dot set muted. And this is going to be the value of mic muted and that's it. So we're just going to do a little styling. We change the state and then we just set muted to what this current state is. So after that, we're just going to go ahead and add an event listener. So let's go ahead and just bring in the event listener down here and let's see, we'll put this all the way at the bottom. We'll just say document dot get element by ID. And this is when we click the mic icon. So we're just going to do mic icon. Why can't I spell it right now? So uh, in our HTML, we have the ID of mic icon. So we're just grabbing that. So we're going to add the event listener on click. We're just going to go ahead and trigger that method. And that should be it. So we're just going to go ahead and throw in the function toggle. Let's see. Toggle mic. Okay, so on click, we toggle that. Let's just see if it works. So first of all, the color is changing. So right now the active speaker isn't working. When I untoggle it, now I see it and it's off. So let's actually test the sound. Let's make sure it's actually changing, not just the state, but the actual audio. So I'm gonna unmute it right now and we hear the echo and then mute it and I can't hear myself and then I can again. Okay, and then we can do the same for the remote user. Perfect, okay, so that is it for the video. We just uh, muted and unmuted the mic and we'll just jump to the next video in the series if you're following along with that.